Okay guys, so first things first, I'm prepping her skin and I'm using the Garnier Fructis Micellar Water. It's like um, a makeup remover, like a cleanser, but you don't need water, like you don't need to wash your face. It's a waterless cleanser and it also gets rid of any dirt and oil on the skin. So I use that to prep her skin and then I just take a moisturizer. This is just one that I got out of my Ipsy Glam Bag and I thought it would be perfect to have in my kit because you always get little moisturizers um, in that monthly glam bag so I was like why not throw them in my kit and use them for moisturizer on my clients so I put it on my palette and then I'm taking um, this little elf stippling brush and just putting it all over her skin and prepping her skin for the makeup this is just as important as the makeup application itself because you want it to last all day you want it to look good and you want your base to be flawless before your makeup uh, application Okay guys, so I know I said that I wasn't going to um, post probably a YouTube video uh, for this look. It's just that some of the clips did not record because you guys know I was having problems with my battery situation. But when I did look back on the footage that I did have, it, I actually did have more than I thought. So um, yeah, I was able to get these clips and at least put this together for you guys so you could just see. Um, my makeup application I did do her hair but that part didn't record so that kind of sucks but you'll just see the ending pictures um, and now I'm just getting a green corrector because she had you can't tell in the camera but she had a lot of redness so to combat that because she's gonna be taking pictures she was a bridesmaid um, while the maid of honor in a wedding so I wanted to make sure her base was very flawless um, and then I showed her foundation she um, brought her Kat Von D, um, Kat Von D Locket foundation and um, you know she just I asked her to bring her foundation because my kit is not like I said like super fully equipped yet but the only thing I needed her to bring was her foundation so she brought that and um, yeah I'm just going ahead and applying that um, all over the face with a foundation brush and then I'm going to be blending it out with a Real Techniques um, blending sponge. So here I'm taking a um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I forgot exactly what color it is, but I will list it down below. Um, putting that under her eyes with a flat brush. And then I'm gonna be also going down the bridge of her nose, the center of the forehead and the chin, just um, to cream highlight. So now after setting her face and baking with um, the Benai translucent powder, I'm just taking a brown shadow and adding that into her brows, adding that into her brows, putting it on her brows and uh, filling in her brows. And um, yeah, I mean, she has a black hair, but I always like the brows to be not so harsh, a little lighter than the actual hair. So I've never used black eyeshadow on my brows other than when Abraham did my makeup you know so um, yeah I'm just doing um, her brows now and then after that I'm gonna clean them up with concealer um, put some clear brow gel on them to set them in place and yeah I have all the details um, and product information down below of what I use specifically on her Here she does a little wink. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the camera because I was with Gabriel and I when I was going through the footage I was like oh my god she winked at the camera it was so cute and so funny but um 
Now I'm taking the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and you guys know, I mean, I use this all the time because <laughs> it's probably everybody's go-to palette by now, but um, she was wearing a very light pinkish um, sequin dress. So I wanted to stay with the like orangey pinkish tones. I don't think, in my opinion, for like wedding makeup and stuff, unless the bride or bridesmaid or maid of honor requests it to have very dark or black makeup. I just, I think that you always want to have like browns. I mean, a dark brown, sure, but like black, I feel closes the eye so much. So, you know, you want to look fresh and awake and your eyes are big and wide, you know, so um that's just my personal preference but i did stick to like the orangey shadows and um a little bit of the pinks just in the crease just to deepen it up and then i did put um the more pinkish shimmery shade um all over the lid and kind of cut the crease but not really it's more it is it is more of a sharp you know um a sharp lid color i did keep it sharp but it's not like a cut crease cut crease so it's like in between i guess
then I'm just adding the same eyeshadows with a pencil brush um, just right there on the outside V of her eye it's kind of just to deepen that section and then going under to her lower lash line and adding those same colors onto the lower lash line just to um, tie the whole look in together and now I'm getting this um, gel eyeliner scooping some out I just wanted to show you right there that I do keep my product sanitary and I'm not double dipping into any of my eyeliners or mascaras or anything like that so um, I did get the eyeliner scoop it out and then put uh, put it on my um, palette the metal palette that I have the little makeup um, mixing palette and then apply it to her eye So we did choose to go with a pretty dramatic wing. Um, she likes. She told me she likes the wings, you know, very dramatic and long and super black. So gel eyeliner is always the best option to go with with um, a very dark wing look. So um, we went ahead and did that. I honestly, guys, do wing liner better on other people than I do it on myself. I was even telling her like I feel like I do makeup on others better than on myself. Like I guess because you just get to see the whole thing being done like so i love doing makeup on other people you know like it's just so easy like it's e way easier for me okay it's not just so easy but it's way easier for me than doing it on myself because i feel like my face is so disproportionate and it's annoying but um yeah i just love to do makeup on other people i feel like i'm totally in my element when i do it so yeah if anybody else is interested in getting their makeup done you guys go ahead and contact me um, if you're interested in being a model for my YouTube channel, then we could go ahead and do something something and get something in the works of that as well. So here I'm just um, measuring the lashes to her eye. Um, I always like to do that because everybody's different. Like I know with myself, I always have to cut my lashes. They're always way too long for my eyes, but she has pretty big eyes. So I really, I don't even think I cut any off. But um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get eyelash glue and then I'm going to grab the eyelash curler and um, curl her lashes and prep them before I apply her lashes. So I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering like, hey, why aren't you using tweezers to apply her lashes? Like I always use tweezers to apply my lashes. Now, personally for myself, I will do it on myself, but I am uncomfortable with doing that to a client because um, I would never want to poke somebody's eye out. You know, um, everybody is different. Everybody has their personal preferences. But I mean, you could be a pro and your client can sneeze while you're doing their lashes and boop, you poke their eye out. So maybe with like plastic tweezers like those plastic kind of flat ones that you see around um on instagram and stuff all the time maybe i could pick one of those up but for now i just like to apply with my fingers because i'm not trying to poke anybody's eye out but um yeah so now i'm just taking this small little brown brush and um applying her bronzer i didn't want to go like super heavy like contour and like you know bake under her contour and stuff because I didn't want it to be very harsh. I wanted it to be a little bit more sun-kissed. And this palette's really, really nice. Um, it was maybe like, I, I bought it from a store where they have, you know, makeup, NYX makeup and um, City Color makeup and stuff like that. I will leave the name of it down below. I don't know if you could get it online, but you know, there's other options. You could go on to bhcosmetics.com or you can go on to Morphe and you know, they have their palettes, but this one is even cheaper than that. So if you're just starting out, I mean, it's a great tool to have in your kit because it has so many different colors and it even has two highlight colors and then like a banana-ish kind of shade and like a pinkish kind of shade if your clients are more pink under their eyes. So yeah, it pretty much has everything and I like the formula. It was really nice. It worked really well on her. So um, I'll leave all the details down below. So 
so now I'm just applying her blush guys and that's about it that I have for the recording and I promise next time I already got new batteries I have everything together and enjoy the ending photos and I'll see you on the next one